Hey everybody. So I'm in Washington, D.C. for ATMRD, the Advanced Therapeutics and Movement Related Disorders Conference. And I'm going to give you the scoop on what's coming down the pipeline. Things that we have to look forward to that could be actual treatments, not just what we take now with levodopa and the other medications we take that just treat the symptoms. Actual what we call disease modifying therapies. So yesterday they talked about four different kinds of disease modifying therapies. Number one, what I call, what are basically anti-amyloid drugs. So as you may or may not know, Parkinson's is said to be caused by a misfolded pro protein called alpha synuclein. These drugs target that protein and break them down. It's those proteins that clump together in our brains and cause Parkinson's. But this is one of many theories of what causes Parkinson's because spoiler alert, they don't know. So this is an avenue that's been ongoing. It's also something that has been developed in the Alzheimer's space. I'm gonna be really honest, I'm not a fan. Fingers crossed, we all want things to succeed, but I feel like that road is the one that should be perhaps not the only road that we're going down. So that those drugs are going to be an option. We're probably going to get them sooner rather than later because again, they already exist in another disease space. I call them the BUMABs because <laughs> they all end in like MAB. I'm not going to pronounce them. I'm not even going to try, but there's more than one coming down the pipeline. So that is something to look forward to. Number two, cell therapy now for us we know it as stem cell therapy they're not calling it that anymore they're referring to it as cell therapy so there's lots of different kinds of cell therapy i'm sure you guys all saw the study that came out of japan so we're super excited about cell therapy at the end of the day it's putting cells into your body that can become dopamine producing cells so this is the thing guys you cannot go anywhere and get cell therapy that is going to turn into dopamine producing neurons. It just doesn't exist yet. I mean, it exists, but it's not something that's available. And that's why I always caution people when they talk about where are we getting stem cells? Where are the stem cells? I'm going to go to this foreign country get stem cells. You can get stem cells, but stem cells can become any cell. We need them to become the very specific dopamine producing cells that we're losing. So all stem cells are not going to become the cells that we need. That is the problem. Otherwise, we would all be already doing it. So don't fall for the stem cell BS. Wait until we get actual real stem cells that are going to be the kind of cells that we need. But it's coming and those are already in trials. So the third class is my favorite. So gene therapy is introducing via a virus, which again is going to be controversial, GDNF. So GDNF is a growth factor, a neurotropic growth factor that will encourage our sad, sick, little dying dopamine producing neurons to have life again, to do their thing, to connect and transport dopamine, which is what we need. And that is also in trials. So look up Ask Bio, the Regenerate PD study. It is ongoing. That's where I'm putting my money at. I'm a Vegas girly, so I do love a good bet. And that's what I'm excited about right now. The Ask Bio, PD Regenerate, GDM. Look it up. The fourth one is the kinase inhibitors. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really understand what that is. But I also don't think we're going to get it super soon because it's still in trials too. But look up kinase inhibitors. When I get some time, I'll probably go back and ask some of the researchers to explain it to me in a way that I understand. But it is another option. So those were the four things that they talked about. Exciting things coming in the future. And as always, I hope this helps.